So, uh, <clears throat> Zilhash is ASIC resistant uh, algorithm. Do you plan to like uh, always support uh, GPU miners or what's behind this decision? Are you mostly for the GPU mines? So, uh, I will tell you right here, right now to all the miners that are listening, we have every intention of always remaining ASIC resistant, FPGA resistant. GPUs are the only true way to actually have decentralized infrastructure. I can stand up my computer. I have a graphics card in this laptop. And if I decided I wanted to run and mine on my laptop, I would do it. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that will argue that there's still an error of centralization with, you know, farms and stuff like that. Well, go look at an ASIC farm. I walk through the, I mean, guys, I, have you seen some of these ASIC? I, I went to, uh, I went down to Virginia beach and, and was able to walk through the largest, uh, Bitcoin mine on the East coast at that time. It probably still is. And we're talking football fields in, in terms of, you know, miners. And, and I'm standing there looking at this and I'm like, wow. This is centralization. I mean, come on, man. Like this is that doesn't even make sense, you know. So our goal is to always remain ASIC resistant. And a lot of people ask us, they say, well, what happens if you find out there's an FPGA or an ASIC? Then I'm telling you, we will fork immediately. We already have something in place. So if you're a GP or if you're an ASIC uh, uh, provider or a FPGA provider, don't bother. Because if you do it, <laughs> you might get you may be able to fly it under the radar for a short period of time. Uh, but we, we will find it and we will fork immediately. We already have that commitment internally. So. That's great. That's also a great vision that you have plans in place for. Yeah, for because I think, I think what we found yeah, when we great. saw the, the Equihash, uh, you know, uh, the ASICs that were dropped onto Zcash, which I think Zcash made a really, a really piss poor decision with their, you know, not allow allowing ASICs on the chain because the argument always is, well, the more hash you have, the safer the chain, and that's just that is just not true. That is not that not true. It's how your project is built. Flux was built to be ASIC resistant. Um, you know, we've also been put pieces into place so the nodes will help us with our 51% attacks, and we also have policies and procedures to protect the individuals who would be attacked. So, you know, who was the individuals that were necessarily hurt by the 51% attacks? Well, it was the exchanges, right? So the double spends, you have to go where you can spend it. Well, if you can't do that, there's no value to 51% attack it, which means, you know, you can have, and I would always suggest spreading the hash out, but if you have a pool that has a little bit more hash than you're, what you're comfortable with, it's not the end of the world. So instead of taking the time to figure out what those measures are to prevent a 51% attack. I mean, you saw this with Ethereum Cla Classic as well. Um, they they chose to go a different way. Uh, you know, ETH had the opportunity. They, they kind of tried to pretend that they were pre preventing the ASICs from coming on board. But in reality, it didn't matter. Uh, they did it anyway. So, you know, Flux is 100% committed to true decentralization. And that means... We have to put our money and our time and materials and resources where 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 our talk is, and we'll make sure that we back up our miners.